As a default, all the columns you added to the underlying sheet of your AppSheet app will be visible in all the views of your app, whether that would be a deck, a table, a form, detail, or any other views. The actual views themselves and their related action buttons are also always visible if you add them in either the primary or the menu navigation. And this will start piling up as you continue adding additional columns or fields to your tables and creating additional navigation views to your app. Oh no. As a result, this will make your app look very busy and sometimes even confusing for your users. Quick solution would be to use the different show if conditions available in the table editor, column settings, which is essentially the same thing, the view settings, and the action behaviors. But what if you just want to show or hide components of your app depending on the context from which the user is viewing or using your app? This is possible by using the context expression, and this is what we will discuss right now. Yes! We will be using the different context options throughout this video, but before we dive in, let me give you an overview of how each option works, at least for the four options I use most of the time. We will start with the context view. The context view returns the current view's name visible to the user. So at any point in time that your user is looking at a screen in your app, then whatever is the name of that view will be returned if you use context view. So in this example, we have different views available in either the primary navigation, the menu navigation, as well as some system-generated information. So if we say context view equals projects, then that's actually going to pertain to this specific view. Context view members form pertains to this view. And context view tasks detail pertains to this view. Next is the context view type, which basically tells us what type of view the user is currently looking at. This can be deck, table, gallery, detail, or whatnot. So if we say context view type form, then that means that the statement is only true if the current screen that your user is looking at is a form regardless of the view name. It's the same if you say view type detail or view type deck, and it would only be true if those views are of those view types. Next is the context host, which I would admit I really do not use this that much, but it can come in handy depending on your use case. So this returns to us the information on how your app is being accessed. It can be as a browser, meaning your app is being accessed in a desktop or a laptop, Context host device, meaning your app is being accessed via a mobile phone through the app sheet app container that they can download from the Play Store. Or the context host equals server, which means the app is being accessed through the server, which mostly happens when the app is being accessed via the app sheet API. I haven't really used this that much yet. And then we have the context table, which simply tells us the name of the underlying table of the current view that the user is currently looking at. So you can say context table is equals projects, which would only be true if the current view the user is looking at is using the projects table. So how do we utilize each of these context options? Let's dive in. We will be utilizing the same app that we used in our last video about many-to-many -many relationships and we will be customizing each views using the different context expressions. If you haven't seen that video, you know what to do. So as a review, we have a basic project management app here. Let's just zoom it in a little. There you are. And we only have three primary tables here. We have the members, the projects, and the tasks. And if we go to our settings and then relationships, you can see that we use the task table as the join table for our many-to-many -many relationships with our member table. And of course, you see here that the project table has its primary view and the member table has its view. So if we go back to our app here, let's in a little, okay, better. 
Okay, so the problem we had is that when we go to our projects view, we can see the related tasks here, but it's kind of redundant because we're already looking at the project, right? And yet, it repeats the project name and then the task ID and then the task name. But what we want is that we only want to show the task name and, you know, some other information. But if we remove that, then if we go into our members view here, then it would no longer show us the project name. So what we want is if we're looking at the members detail view, like what we're looking at right now, then the project name should be part of the inline table. But if we go to our projects, then detail, then the project name should no longer be appearing in the child table because the project name is already here on top of the view, right? So let's fix the projects view first. Let's go to view and see that there is actually a tasks inline view which is actually the table view that is being utilized by the app as a child table and an inline view is only system generated and this is actually automatically created by AppSheet every time you establish a relationship between two tables using a ref column so let's fix this first so instead of saying project id and all other columns right let's zoom this in a little Let's say we only want to show the task name. Oops, what did I do? The task status. The member assigned. And the deadline. So just these four, right? So let's save it. There you go. And if we go to the project details, you can see that the project name is no longer in the inline view. Perfect. But the problem is, since this inline view is also being utilized by our member details view, if we go back to our member details view, then the project name is no longer part of the child table. So how do we do that? If we add it back to our tasks inline table, then it would also add it back in the projects table. So we're at a dilemma. So how do we do this? There's actually a trick that I've discovered and it's sort of uh, kind of cheating or confusing app sheet. You know what I mean? Uh, how do we do it? So first things first, let's go to our uh, projects, no, tasks view and let's create a slice. so and in this slice we want to have the project id as part of it yes and then let's just order it this the way we ordered our um, child table for the projects view status member assigned deadline okay let's name this the member tasks there you go because we would be using this slice as the source of the table for our members detailed view. Let's save it first. Okay. The second step is to create a view. So we go back to our views and let's just simply copy this tasks inline view. Duplicate it. And let's name this member task inline. Something like that, right? And then let's point it to the new slice that we just created. There you are. And this time, in the column order, we want to put the project ID, which should show the project name in the table, as you can see here. Yes? So let's save that. Okay. Okay. Now, if we go back to our project detail view, it's still showing us the table correctly, right? Let's go to our members view, and you can see that it actually hasn't updated yet to show the new uh, table view that we've just created. And this is the actual trick. So, step three is you go back to your members table. 
And then let's copy these ref rows. And let's create a new virtual column. Let's just call it related, oops, related projects and tasks. That looks fine. But instead of the tasks, we will point it to the member task slice that we just created. Like so. And then let's save it. And as you can see, the new view that we created for the member task showing the project name is now showing here. And the problem is that the original inline view is also still showing here. Okay. So let's just go back to our members view and simply hide the original related tasks and save it. So let's check it out. We're now at the members details view and we see the related projects and the tasks. But if we go to the projects detail view, then it should only show us the tasks name related to this project. Amazing, isn't it? Yahoo. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. I was planning to put this on the next video for uh, using HTML and markdowns for our detail views, but I decided to put that here instead. Okay, all right. So let's uh, see how we can utilize the context views now. If we go to our form view, you can see that you have the date added and the added by here, which is our non-negotiable columns, right? Now, if we simply hide it by, you know, unticking this uh, show option, in our table editor, then it should hide it from the form. The problem with that is that it would also hide it from our detail view. And what if we want to see those information when we're looking at the project details? It's just that we don't want to show it when we're looking at the project's form. You know what I'm saying? So this is where we can utilize our context expression. So what we want is that, let me just um, minimize this. What we want is that for our date added and added by, we only want it to show if we're looking at the detail view. And we have two options to use. First option, we'll use it for the date added. So instead of just simply saying show or hide, we will use this flask icon which is the same as going to the column settings and then just clicking this flask icon, right? So we click that and say, uh, you see, show if, if what, right? So our first option is to use the context view, okay? And the context view would be expecting the name of the view. So I want the date added to only show if we're looking at this project details view, which is here, right? So let's go back there and say if context view is equals to projects detail, okay? Because it's asking for the name of that view. So if we click save, then we should see date added in our project's detail view now, like so. But if we launch the project's form, then it should no longer be there. Got it? Okay, cool. How about the other option? So let's do it for the added by. So we want the added by to only show if the context view type, the type of view, is a detail view. Got that? 
So that means it shouldn't show it if it's a form view, etc. So only if it's a detail view. Save it. There you are. So looking at the detail view of the project, you can see the date added and you can see the added by. But you should not see it in the project's form view because we told AppSheet to only show it based on the context that we provided. One is that if the view name is project's detail and the other is if the view type is a detail type view. And to be honest with you, the context view and context view type are the only context option uh, that I utilize or use in most, if not all, of my AppSheet projects. Sometimes I use context host, but it would be on a very rare occasion depending on the use case. Okay, so that's basically how you use context. And actually, you can use context not only for hiding or showing uh, columns or fields, right? You can also use context view for hiding or showing views itself. So you can go to a view and let's say on the projects view, you can use context expression here in the show if, such as only show this view if the context is whatever, right? As long as it accepts an expression, then you can use context view. You can do it for allowing edits as well. Maybe only allow the column to be editable depending on the view or the view type or only require it depending on the view or the view type and so on and so forth. As long as it accepts an expression, then the context view is available at your disposal. In our next video, we will talk about conditional formatting and customizing detail views using HTML and markdowns so we can turn boring detail views like this into something a little bit better like this one. So stay tuned. So I think that's it for now. If you got value from this video, then please click the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and help my channel grow. Once again, this is your AppSheet Pinoy Expert JP saying you and me and all of us, we are all full of sheets. Bye.